Okay, Sijin, do you want to present yourself? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Sijin. Sijin. Oh, God. My blood go. Um, and uh, you are from? India, Kerala. <laughs> from India. Good one. Mm. Yes, yeah. so here we have uh, Sijin from, um, he come from Calicut, Kerala. And uh, he's a uh, uh, Kaladi Guruko. Yeah. A real, real deal. And he's, he's saying Norwegian, Norwegian fucking heavily good. It's a very good one. It's a good. So I will put up some links below. So you can see, I mean, you could pretty much do anything. I mean, you can kiss your. You go backwards, yeah? Yeah. Maybe afterwards you can do, or tomorrow you'll do some demonstration so I can, we can see, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, Shijin, he have brought me so many gifts. Um, one gift uh, was this uh, lovely oil that mm -hmm. you produce. Calari oil. Calari oil, yeah. yeah. So that you spend about uh, four days. Yeah. Four days, yeah. I apologize, I forgot to put the microphone, but it's okay. I think we'll be fine. So four days, uh, you you have this big large yeah. pot, yeah. and you put in different ingredients, herbs, and you make this oil, which is uh, lovely. I'll show you later. But it's, it does have a specific smell, which uh, I don't know. It turn, turns me on. It's really good smell, and they have different purposes. One you have also for my green. Yeah. So, uh, so you come from there, all the Kalari Payatu schools. For those of you who are not familiar with Kalari, it's a Indian martial art. Yeah. And they say it's the mother it's of mother of all martial arts in the world. Exactly, it's the mother of all martial art in the world. And so, and also yoga. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so, but one one little problem with. Kalari is that uh, when you dedicate yourself to one school, you should stick to one school uh, because all schools have different styles. Different style. It's not like Karate, Okinawa Kempo, you can start and you can go anywhere in the world and they will know the same thing. All schools are unique. And you tell me you are on a list over the best school. What kind of list is this? It's a Kalari pad. It's a three part. First, yeah, sorry, mm, one, North, North and Kerala, and South and Kerala, and Middle. Yeah. And my, my Kalari school is North and Kerala, and it's the name, Kartanad, is a place, it's a name. Mm. And we are teaching for fourth part for Kalari. First is the physical training for the Kalari, it's a Mei Pai to and body control exercise, and Mei Varakum, and lot of. And second part is a stick combat. Um, we are fighting with the stick, mm -hmm. rounding stick, short stick, long stick, a lot of stick. It's fighting. very similar to Filipinian stick fighting, one yeah. of the types you do. Yeah. Also known as somewhere Kali. Yeah. This style. Yeah. Yeah. And third part, uh, third part is weapons, using very sharp weapon, mm -hmm. attacking. You Was, still have a, yeah, a wound, wound, little wound. Yeah. <laughs> here yeah, lot of injury and the last part free hand combat is an armored combat and it uh, one man is without hand attacking and mm. lock and de lock marma point and meditation everything is a treatment is the last combat this is all mm. practicing so marma for those of you who haven't heard about this they have um, because in the west we only do full on uh, we harm each other, uh, but in my experience, I've been doing calorie for some time, uh, my experience was that Indians, they take very good care of each other and you are all about precision. Uh, that's so you don't feel like you will hesitate a little bit if you know that you have a, a very large guy in front of you and he's going to smack your head and, and it falls off and it hurts really bad. But here in India, you take care of this, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is my experience that you, you are all about precision. 
uh, you're extremely bendy. Mm. Uh, so you have to go into his site, Olinky site. Um, I, I should stop saying I'm a lot. Yeah. So uh, what else? Um, I, I really had something important to say. Because <laughs> I just came to Kerala now two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. So this morning. Uh, we meet each other for the first time. Yeah, yeah, first time. So we know each other uh, off and on. Uh, I started to do online, but I found it difficult because of my lifestyle. So it's been on and off. But uh, now we are settling. We are in Lakala. It's a beautiful, very beautiful area. Yeah. In general, uh, a good, like, touristy, touristy. Uh, so what's going to happen next? I don't know, I'm horrible with planning, mm -hmm. but uh, I know that tomorrow night on the, on the roof we will yeah, do exactly. some, um, some exercises and uh, it's interesting because I've tried one of your my payatus, my payatus and I've tried uh, one style from Nadakav and I'm trained originally from north in Kanur. Mm -hmm. So all the time I will have to take two steps back every time. Uh, so you could you could pretty much call me an independent calorie researcher mm. for now uh, until I get I don't know because Varkala where I live now is twelve hours Sorry. with a car yeah. to to where his school is. So uh, the southern style and the northern style, they are very, very different. I would say that uh, the southern style, the way I imagine it, is, is more um, curly. Can I just say curly? It's, uh, it has more motion that are more uh, like, like this. But I cannot say because I've not been to your school. This is just my experience of it. So yes, I did the, the crazy thing. I went to India and I went to school every day two months. Went to Temple Gate, which is actually a big uh, honor. Yeah, Temple Gate is a um, Punya Yeah. And good, yeah. Good. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's a nice place, a historical place, Kalaripet historical place. Yeah. And you know, Tacholiya is a very no, famous no, um, yeah. variety. And oh, yeah, like now he, his house now is a temple. Every mm. year they mm. have a festival. Okay. It's a Tachoryo uh, Marikot festival. Okay, yeah. And next time uh, I think you will try to come and you can shoot Tayyam performance. Tachoryo then Tayyam. It's a performing also of Kaladi. Yes. Okay, yeah. Tayyam and dancing for and, and doing the Kaladi pet also. Yeah. Yeah, you so what he is saying is that you have we have a festival here that's called Tayam and Katakali. Uh, no, no, no. You have nothing to do with Katakali. Yeah, Katakali is uh, here. Okay, yeah. Tayakali. So, Tayam is um, yeah. We'll try to put up some pictures. Uh, yeah. It's it's a festival where they dress up and many. Mostly of those who perform are actually. Uh, Tayam is a temple ritual art form. Yeah. Temple. Uh, and, the dancing. and the performer artists are Kalari Pratikta, Pratikta yeah, yeah. So yeah. they would. Uh, you have something called Urumi? Urumi, yeah. How would you describe Urumi as one of my favorite weapons? Urumi, actually, this is a very dangerous weapon in Kalari Pet. Two sides very sharp. Two sides very sharp. It's like a whip, you know? Whip. And, yeah. And so. Very uh, dangerous. Yeah, I got to hold one. This is uh, only hold it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, Kalari consists also a lot of weapon training, yeah. wood, both sharp, but basic, metal. But basic of Kalari pet, physical training. Yes, body it's control exercise. Body, yeah. yeah. Uh, so tomorrow we are going to try and make yeah. some demonstrations. Yeah. And uh, I will see, uh, I learned the, the animal stances. We mm -hmm. will see how much similarities they have. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I can say this far that his, uh, what, what we call Meipayatu here is what you would call a kata, normally. Kata. Is, we know as a kata, it's um, called Meipayatu in Kalari. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost my interest in martial art because of the attitude in the West many years back and also my sense I left. Mm. 
So uh, being introduced to calorie again mm. and, and then getting the spirit of wanting to exercise back is, is uh, great. And having um, this young and this, this expert in calorie and being a guru call now, congratulations by the way, uh, is an honor to have you to come all the way down here to mm -hmm. visit me. It's a big honor, great honor. So he brought me gifts, oil and something really cool to put up in the nose that will cleanse the, the nostrils. So the, the treatment alone, uh, what you call marma, no, yeah, marma treatment. So, yeah, marma is uh, the, the mother of uh, physiotherapy. We know it's physiotherapy, yeah. but it's much better. So you have different points in your body which they use as pressure points. Yes, yeah, pressure points, yeah. yeah. Because you have any problem from uh, your marma, yeah. you can uh, yeah, um, tre treatment for another yeah. opposite side. Yeah. And we have another treatment for Mm, Nadi treatment, the nose. The nose? No, the nose, yes. yes. Nadi, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so basically the, the marma are, are what we call as nerves. Mm -hmm. So instead of shaving a needle in it, we use the pressure point. Yeah, you have the pressure point. point and you will release whatever uh, if you have um, obstacles mm -hmm. within or uh, sometimes I myself now I have uh, a vein a nerve up here mm -hmm. that maybe you will help me tomorrow see if it's possible to do something about it mm -hmm. but my experience with the the the, the treatment is uh, it's quite you feel it's it's really good yeah you know, it's because really yeah you're doing for your bond setting also bond setting yeah if you have any back bone and problem you are setting you are and you also uh, what also because hair of the heat, the climate, and because you also help uh, with uh, getting more flexible. This is my experience that they will help you getting more flexible. And uh, the heat and the moist in the climate here. I remember now it's been two years yes. since uh, with all this pande pandemic bullshit and all that. So now. The big moment has come. Xi Jin had uh, made. He says it's not cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so very thin. But it kind of looks like cake. <laughs> what you put it? Let's try. Yeah, he's he's very eager. Now it's try. Right. So I thought, okay, we will share this event with you guys. Uh, I'll put it up on both my channels, even the tarot card one, so you can see. Well, the, um, the tarot reads for you who follow me on the entertaining of psychology. Uh, you can see if any Scorpio predictions have come true. And um, now we try the cake. I just, yeah. with my fingers. Yeah. So here in India, using a knife and a fork is, is not really a thing. We, we yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm talking a lot because uh, I'm super scared that this is uh, spicy, but he said it's no, mandarin. Yeah. It's mandarin. Yeah, it's a bit taste. So, uh, what I see in here is the vegetables. Yeah, non vegetable. Yeah. Oh, I have, I think actually uh, this, this smells familiar. Mm. I think maybe. Yeah. I had this before. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but I think not together. I think yeah, this is very very good. It tastes like I can't. I think uh, here. Mm. Trish, uh, sorry. Mm. Mom, it's full moon. <laughs> full moon in Scorpio. No, this is a. Uh, you have vegetables in it, but yeah. you make it taste like a cake. It's a, it's amazing. Do you know? Could you tell some of the secrets? Because I you don't know. <laughs> of course, you don't know. <laughs> he's not a cook. He's a um, basically calorie, calorie, calorie. That is his life. So you can also get him as an online trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll, we'll put all the links up. 
and uh, you need to take a look at Kalari. It's uh, the, the stuff that these people do. Uh, they are superhumans. They are superhumans. They are not real people. <laughs> but so can you. So take one more taste. This I'm not supposed to call it cake. What what am I supposed to call it? Mm. What's the name again of this? This uh, cake, Kanatapon. Uh, Yes, that, there you see my language problem here. This is karate bomb. Yeah. That like I will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> this is only North Kerala. Yeah, this is making only North Kerala. I think mm. you eat in Tarasiri. Right? Yeah, I know I have been eating this before. Could have been during the, when I was in I was in lockdown in Tarasiri. Yeah, yeah. Could have been this the woman there, a good cook. Making only in North Kerala. Mm. It tastes. Wonderful. As a Norwegian, I would say mm, Indians know they have, they know how to make um, a cake on vegetables. <laughs> I'm not supposed to call it cake, but it really tastes awesome. So, but it's very very sweet. And I told him I had some issues with my. I'm a little fatty right now, basically. Big boobs, big ass. So this is a lot of calories. So this is like, I would say you could eat this for dessert. Mm -hmm. After a big meal with potatoes, have this for sweet, for the tea and this is very good, no? Yeah, yeah, good. Masala tea and this mysterious no nut cake. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I think this will last for a week. Can you give it a week? Yeah. <laughs>